Hi people, Night Voice back again. This uh, the hospital, uh, or the uh, medical meeting they just had in Canberra the other week, where uh, all the states by WA agreed to uh, give the government 30% of their uh, GST money to help out the funding of this uh, big overhaul of our uh, health system. I think the government have got it wrong. They talk about injecting uh, billions of dollars into our health system. They're shutting the gate after the horse has bolted. They should be injecting billions of dollars into keeping people out of hospitals, to keeping people healthy. We've all heard over the news and uh, seen on television about how obese we're becoming. Our kids, unfit, unhealthy. Young adults, unfit, unhealthy. Middle-aged right through the line. So I think what they should be doing is um, bringing in uh, health programs that are free, government uh, paid for, to try and get people fit, to be eating properly, and uh, to stay away from the hospitals. Only go to the hospital if you're dying. Or, just, or you know, you you've got broken bones or something. I mean, the hospital system is... It's unbelievable. We have to have a preventive system to keep people away from the hospitals. I remember when I went to school, when I was a boy, we had physical education. They have physical education at school now, but I don't know what... I think they stand outside and look at the fresh air or look at the sky. We used to do star jumps, we used to do sit-ups, press-ups, run around the oval, all this sort of thing. Everybody was fit and healthy. Well, just about everybody was fit and healthy. I think today, because of the computer age, People think if they sit behind a computer and, and muck around with the keyboards, it's, uh, that's uh, their exercise for the day. I mean, we need to get our kids starting from kindergarten, get them into a healthy lifestyle, right? Get them out walking, go and walk in the bush or whatever, out running around the park, more so than sitting in a classroom doing some stupid bloody thing that they'll never, ever use. I mean, a few people will, will use different things, like different, uh, uh, you know, geography or uh, science or something like that, but not everybody will. The majority of people just go through the school because they have to, because it's law, um, and get a basic education, and then they're left to their own devices to make it through life. So, you know, instead of just sitting in the classroom doing nothing or doing uh, mundane stuff that they'll never use, get them out into the fresh air, get some oxygen in the, in the, into their system. Because oxygen is the mainstay of life. I mean, you look at uh, Tony Abbott. He's a fitness fanatic. Now, surely he'd be saying to one of the opposition uh, ministers or something, you know, this is what we need to do in the medical system. You know, they're in government to run the government, you know, one side and this side. This side comes up with an idea, OK, th surely this side it must have some, some input, the other side must have some input. But that's what they should be doing. They should be spending the majority of that money on trying to keep people away from the hospitals. Keep get people back to being fit, healthy. So if that means we have to spend 
I don't know how much they're talking about over 10 years, 4.5 billion or something like that. Well, maybe they should spend two and a half billion of that on trying to uh, bring in healthy schemes for people that are free. Okay, so the majority of people, because that's the reason why people don't go to health studios, don't go to the gym, because they have to pay. Now, if the government can bring in a system that uh, is uh, free for people that want to get healthy. I mean, look at the seniors, senior citizens, what do they do? Some of them have groups, some of them, you know, there's a lot of good people out there trying to help senior citizens to stay healthy and active, but there's not enough. So all those, any of those senior citizens need to be, you know, we need to create systems where, uh, you know, a, a block of people set something up here for exercise. And I mean, okay, right. You talk about, um, you know, you get a group, they go to bingo. What the hell are they doing at bingo? All they're doing is sitting and waiting for their numbers to come up. Hopefully they'll win 50 bucks or 100 bucks. It might get them out to get their minds stimulated, but they're not getting their bodies stimulated. They need to be exercising and getting that oxygen through their bodies. That is the essence of everything, is oxygen. If you don't get the oxygen into your body, your cells start to die off, your mind starts to, to dry up, everything. Oxygen, and that's what we need to do. Our kids need to be taught to eat properly, exercise properly, right through the line. Young adults, to stop drinking so much, and start to get healthier lives. Middle-aged people, the same thing. But if the government put these, or put systems into place where it allows people to go and do these things free of charge, think about how much money that would save the hospital system. We wouldn't need umpteen thousand more doctors, umpteen thousand more nurses, all that expense of having to, it's just an ongoing expense. So if we can basically, okay, the hospital system's rooted now, we all know that. We all know that there's a shortage of doctors, there's a shortage of nurses, and there's a shortage of uh, whatever else is needed to run those hospitals. But by bringing in a system where we try and get people healthy in the long run, that is going to save us an absolute fortune. Everybody's going to be healthier. Everybody's going to be staying away from the hospitals because you won't need to go there. Right? It's all about getting yourself healthier and fitter. And it's all to do with oxygen. Get that oxygen in your system and you're laughing. My dad's 85 or 86 or something. When he's whinging and moaning, I tell him to get on his exercise bike. When I first started to tell him, he thought I was an idiot. What are you talking about? Get on your exercise bike and get some oxygen into your system. You know, he's 85, he can't ride at 100 mile an hour, but at least he's working his lungs. He's getting that oxygen into his system, which is oxygenating his blood. The blood goes around through your body and just brings back life. And that's what it's all about. Even the young kids that sit at home in front of the computer screen, while they're sitting there playing bloody uh, video games and stuff. They need to get out and get oxygen into their system. Everybody. That's my thoughts on it anyway. That's what they should be doing. Night boys, catch you later.